Oh, hello there. And welcome to Two Hogs Are Better Than One. This is one of my favorite streams of the year, folks. I am so glad that you are here. You did see my pinned message earlier. I love talking about this stuff. And there's no one I like talking about it more than with my brother. Because Two Hogs Are Better Than One. How are you doing this fine December Eve? I am okay. Immort Immortality's the same. Sort of more highly produced. Um, hey. well, act well acted. So yes, we'll... Folks, I know a lot of you know this already, but we'll have time to talk about immortality more. Trust me. Uh, and I, I, I suspect Runkle of the Bailey here, our special guest, is going to have some thoughts on this particular game as we roll in. I have some. Uh, I have some thoughts already. Okay, hang on, Ian. Just let me finish this explanation. <laughs> uh, Tom, I'd like to introduce you to Ian Runkle of the Bailey, YouTube star, Canadian uh, celebrity. Uh, known throughout all of the various YouTube channels. And we're glad to have you here, Ian. Thanks for popping in. Are so, you, though? I've got some opinions. You're allowed to <laughs> shoot me down, Ian. It's fine. I, a pushback is always okay. All right, Ian. What do you so, have to say about the Centennial case? I mean, at least it sounds like this one has more gameplay Why? than what I suspect is your number one pick. I don't understand. Your number one pick is a full motion video game where you basically just can click things at random until you have exhaustively clicked everything. And like literally this is- You're talking about this is Centennial the, case. Right, but I'm just like laying the groundwork here. This sounds like it's better than that because at least it couldn't be solved by like Homer Simpson's drinking bird. I'm so glad Ian's here for this. <laughs> here at the oh, end yes. of all things. I'm, what, I'm here for this for a reason. What even are we gonna talk about here, folks? The best game of the year, perhaps the best story in the history of video gaming. My number one game, and Ian's favorite game of all time. A little game by the name of Immortality. Immortality is a full motion video game uh, in which players take the role of somebody sifting through archives of three separate movies, one made in the 60s, one made in the 70s, and one made in the 90s, to try to figure out what happened to the character you see on your screen right now. So as a person uh, that tilts towards narrative, Immortality is one of the best stories that I've ever seen. Uh, you are going to love it. Uh, it is depthful, it is interesting, uh, and it is my experience of the year. There's no other choice for game of the year. Now wait, Immortality. hold on. One of the statements you made, I'll let Ian rail on you in just a second, um, was that there was no other way you could see this story being told. Is that like, it had to be this? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't even Ian, think you know some of Ian, the you have the floor. So um, my hypothesis here is that you should vote for Tom's list solely because of the inclusion of immortality on Rick's list. Because Rick's number one is a number two. This game <laughs> is... <laughs> He's been waiting those. for that one. <laughs> this game is pretty much the worst experience Are I've had writing with the game. against me during your hearings, Runkle? No, this is just <laughs> me... <laughs> Let me exp like Rick sort of spins this in this really nice way. Let's put this how this goes. The main conceit is that you're looking through these three boxes of footage, but you have no way to actually just do what any normal human being would do with this footage, like assemble it in chronological order and just watch the things, or even just go to the next piece of footage and like decide where that fits. You can't do any of that. Instead, you're stuck with this weird browsing system. Um, you describe her acting as fantastic, and a lot of it, I'm not sure, because I don't know if she's actually intentionally acting badly in scenes, but some of them were awful. Favorite stream of the year, folks. I so I think she's acting as a bad actress. That is me being, you know, I think that's a fair statement. Depends the problem on the is, is yeah. her acting as a bad actress is still bad acting that you're watching, and it's still painful at times so I, when you're just like trying to sift through this story and i'm just like can these people stop like it's I, like I, watching william shatner trying to out shatner himself but yeah it's watching shatner acting at times and shatnering all over the the, the experience and the plot doesn't make sense or get interesting for a long time i put a number of hours into it and i'm still like i don't give a about any of these movies i, I don't can't give it your latent cynicism and non-desire to find things out your curiosity is your issue here. but the thing is is i have curiosity that i can put 
anywhere. And there's nothing in this game to say, like, it doesn't even tell you what the point is. Like, there's no actual hint that this is going to turn into anything at some point. It's just like, here's random stock footage. So this could be a great story, but it this is in the genre of tell a story badly. Are, are, what? are you like, you, you open a mystery book, you go right to the final pages? I, you, you, no, you but if I open, open a mystery book, I expect it to, to be like in page order and to have a plot that develops and yeah, not... Your, your friend has just told you this is one of the finest stories in the history of video games. And he's wrong. What if I told you the system of finding connections across three movies and three eras is, insight, is insightful as to what the connections are and what the symbolism of the story is? Is that not a useful metric? Is that not something that this system can do that you can't do from reading a linear book? This seems, that just makes it sound far too pretentious. What if I also told you it's not as random the clicks as you think it is? You're telling me that it turns into a great story at some point, but it doesn't even hint at what that's going to be. I actually had to ask Rick, like, what the hell am I doing in this? <laughs> the about like, screen should just be played at the front of the game. There's no question. He's like, there. did you check the about screen? I'm like, why would I check the about? Okay. <laughs> And then I it's agree. like, you have a box of found footage. Like, this, the gameplay makes no sense for the conceit. If I'm sitting there with a box of footage, I'm going to be looking at the timestamps on the footage before I even watch it. I'll just You're assemble telling me, man, it. suspend your disbelief. Wait for just a second. But I'm telling you that there's value to the way it's presented. You're telling me you don't feel it, which is fine. I'm arguing that it can exist. You're saying it can't. I'm just trying to see how this would make sense with the plot line <laughs> of here's a piece of footage. How do you figure out which next piece of footage has an apple in it? But but you have to acknowledge that there can be value in the conceit that they've chosen to present this story, especially when I'm there vouching could be, for but it. There doesn't seem to be. That's the problem. <laughs> you talk about the gameplay and how it develops, but the thing is, is that fundamentally how it develops is pretty much random because you choose with no information, some random tiles. You follow you what's interesting it. to you. So wait, But none on. of it is interesting. I don't have a reason to care about these people. Like, why do I give a... I am desperately trying to advocate for what I find to be a very layered, interesting story without saying any of the story. <laughs> so that, yeah. that presents a tricky proposition. If there's something more going on to it, it needs to get a better handle on like pushing that through right because you get other games i disagree that follow right i wouldn't change a thing about the pacing or the way the plot unrolls here's what i'll say ian you've said your piece i'm very unhappy that it didn't work out for you but i think we can all live with your wrongness together i mean at the end of the day if you really liked immortality i would be happy to go to the dollar store get a uh, three romance novels Slice the uh, slice the pages off and then send them to you without page numbers in a, a miscellaneous box. And that's still a better experience in terms of how they're feeding you the story than immortality is. Ian, I appreciate your passionate, <laughs> loyal opposition. You can see, folks, why we want to do a Rick and Runkle video game stream. Because reasonable minds can differ. And even some unreasonable ones sometimes. I was going to say, I tried, I gotta say.